Hey everybody, welcome to Mailbag. I'm David, and I'm also cold. Very, very cold. Bless you. I personally cannot believe that there's only 10 days left until Christmas, and I have only bought one present. So as soon as this video is over, I seriously need to do some shopping. Thank God for Amazon Prime. Speaking of Christmas presents, I got this package in the mail uh, yesterday, actually, from Ocarina Poet, which has got plenty of drawings and stuff on it. On this side we have May the Triforce Be With You, which it is a plethora of Triforces, Triforces. Um, as you can see they have the Triforce and then one, two, three Triforces inside of it, so it's a Triforce within a Triforce. Inception. I said it first. On the other side we have Rock Out with your Ock Out, uh, Doc Jazz and Ocarina, and Come to Arizona, which is an invitation. Let's get to the letter first. You have very nice handwriting. Dear David, what's up doc? First of all, allow me to extend my all my thanks and appreciation for everything you do for your fans. I first discovered the ocarina through the Arizona Renaissance Festival. I had no clue that the ocarina was an actual instrument. For up until this time, I thought it was a fictional flute from one of the most epic of video games. I think we all know what game that was. I have never written you a letter before and I know you have others to read, so I'll try to keep this to a three page minimum. I hope that's not too much. Anyway, within this package you will find the most excellent gift. It is none other than the first ocarina I ever bought. Aww. I want you to have it. I'm not very skilled with any ocarinas under 12, hole, 12 or 10 holes. This ocarina has a very unique sound and I hope you can find a place for it perhaps in one of your videos. I've been playing the ocarina now for almost three years. Most of what I've learned has been through tabs however. I've been beginning to learn sheet music. Your tutorial videos have been very helpful, thank you. Which leads me to my first question. Do you think you will ever make another songbook for the double harmony ocarina from Songbird? Or, if not at that, a tutorial for sheet music with that, that ocarina? At this very moment, a second songbook for the double harmony is not on, high on the priorities list. Um, Songbird asked me to make a couple other songbooks first, which we're about to come out with the Zelda uh, Volume 2 songbook for um, 12 hole and 7 hole ocarina. And then we have the anime songbook, a classical songbook, and a songbook specifically for Ten Hole Ocarina. So uh, I could definitely put, put it on the list and talk to Mr. Songbird about it. Um, but as far as sheet music goes, you should be able to read sheet music for it either or both sides actually. Um, much like you would read music for a piano where you have the treble clef on the top and treble clef on the bottom. So what you would do is you would memorize the finger positions uh, and the, the notes for each position. So like C, uh, D, E, F, G, and so forth. Uh, and it's the same on both sides, which makes it a lot easier. And then you would look at the, the, the two, two different treble, treble clefs, I guess. And you would be able to just read the top line and the bottom line and play them simultaneously. Which I haven't tried. I should definitely try that. But yeah, it, it, it applies the same way that you read sheet music for a single ocarina. You should be able to read for the double harmony as well. Times two. Second question, have you seen the 12 hole Hobbit ocarina STL has recently put out? It makes me even more excited for the film. Yes, I have. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't like how fat it looks, but I love the hobbit -y Tolkien design that they have on the top. It's pretty cool. Right now I'm in the process of learning Defiant from Winds of Time, Linda LeClaire's newest album. It's a little challenging, but with practice I know I can nail it. I hope you have the merriest of Christmases. If you ever find yourself coming to Arizona, close to Phoenix, you're more than welcome to stay with me and my family. It's very nice of you, thank you. Thanks again so much for your time and passion and everything you do for the Ocarina community. Rock out with your Ock, your fan, Ocarina Poet. P.S. Do you think you can do an Ocarina cover of A Hero Comes Home from the animated Beowulf movie? I have not seen that movie, but I can definitely look into it. Whoa. That is pretty cool. I guess this is the one that you got from the Ren Fair, which is actually pretty nice. It's a six hole, see how it sounds.
think the maker was very concerned about actually tuning it. It looks nice. It it just isn't very good as an an actual ocarina. So I don't know how much I'll be able to use it, but like I said, it's a very pretty ocarina. Thank you very much for your letter, Ocarina Poet, and your very kind gift, and I will definitely um, keep you posted on whether or not I'll be able to visit Arizona anytime soon. Our next letter comes from Emily, and she did something really cool. She like, I guess it's pencil, like she colored the whole envelope, and on the back she like get a really nice trim, and she wrote a little poem on the back too titled Mailbag, an original poem by Emily. Here's another letter to brighten up your day. Another little letter with some more to say. Hope you will always answer letters from your fans. This is one of many that will cross your waiting hands. Aww. And she writes, Dear David, Hello, I hope you don't mind me writing to you again. You answered my first letter in your Mailbag 15 video. I decided to write you this letter by hand, as I recall you saying you like that better. Anyways, I trust all is well with you, and hope you had a lovely Thanksgiving. I did. Hope you did too. Thank you. I'm writing to ask if you would like to join in our Ocarina collaboration. We're planning to play We Are the World by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie. If you aren't too busy with other Ocarina projects, would you please consider participating? There are four of us, myself included, in a group on Facebook. I'll include the link at the bottom of the page. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Songbird Ocarinas for the iOS app. I've been spending an unhelpful amount of time with it, figuring songs out by ear, and trying out new sheet music. Thank you guys, it's really pretty nifty. That's a good word to describe it, don't you think? I do. I forgot to mention that it's 4 in the morning here, and I have to work tomorrow, rather later today. It's way past my bedtime. Anyway, thanks again for everything, and take care. Cordially, Emily. P.S. Hope to see you at MegaCon 2013. Emily, thank you very much for sacrificing your sleep in order to send this letter. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely take a look at the Facebook link and see if I have time in the next couple weeks, depending on when the deadline is for your video. Um, but that might be fun. That sounds like a cool thing to do. I actually just knocked out a bunch of big Ocarina projects. Um, so before I get started on the next wave, I might be able to record something for you. And yes, MegaCon 2013, I think should be a possibility, which is going to be in Orlando, Florida, in case anybody else is thinking about going. Uh, I might be able to make that, actually, which is in March. March 15th, I think, or 16th. Anyway, yeah, that should be a lot of fun. Uh, I have a lot of friends over in Orlando, so it'd be definitely a good excuse to go visit. Emily, thank you very much. As always, guys, feel free to send me something in the mail. I love it when you do. The address is down below in the description, and... I'm still trying to decide what Christmas video or Christmas song I would love to post in a video. So if you can, please leave a suggestion down below in the comments. And I will uh, definitely try to have that up in the next week before Christmas, which is coming way faster than I thought it would. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.